Okay, let's go ahead and get this video started. So this video was requested by another YouTuber by the name of Jay Williams, shout out. He asked last time I did a video about the headrest televisions. My apologies for taking so long because I was trying to find out the name brand because these TVs I've had for about three or four years. They were previously in my 2018 GMC Sierra SLT. Backstory, I got this truck because the transmission in that uh, 2018 went out on me at 64,000 miles. So instead of getting it fixed, I scrapped it and said, I'll go ahead and get me another one. So when I did, I stripped my TVs out of it, among other things. But this is one of the things I took out of it. And the reason why I like them is because I didn't have to do any cutting. Sorry about the glare, but I'm in the garage. It's raining today. But uh, they match the interior. You can barely tell, if you can, that that stitching on there is actually kind of bronze, which matches the uh, door handles on the truck. All right. So these are nine-inch screens made by a company called Xtron. Not really popular with me, never heard of them either. But what I do know is they show a pretty good picture. And again, I've had them for a couple of years, so I'm satisfied with them. So these TVs, they each have their own DVD player, which is right here on the top. So you can have it individual. So anyone sitting back here on the left side or the right side, they can watch whatever they want. Or, as I have it now, which I can still change it without even having to rewire anything, I can have it to where they play the same thing, like now. So they're wired together. So the way I have it wired in here is this one, which wasn't easy. It's in the headrest. It goes down behind one of these pillars. All the way down, of course. And... Anybody that knows installation knows the best thing about it is hiding all the evidence. So you can't see it. Not a lot of light in here, so I'm just going to go around to the other side. All right. So some kind of way, if you could see it, but even if you were back here, you could barely see it. You wouldn't know the factory wiring from the regular. But it all goes to this one piece of wire right here that comes out of the passenger seat both tvs are wired together and goes right back under the uh, floorboard and then it's all hardwired into the system and the reason why it just went off a second ago the dash is still on but the key is in here but the engine's not running so it won't sit there and keep running and drain your battery and then when i cut the ignition off they also go off. As you see, they went off first before the dash went off, but the key is still in here. These TVs came with a uh, remote. Both of them had their own remote. You can uh, also hook up, if you look under here, there's a USB and a HDMI port where you can hook other stuff into it. It's like if you have a tablet or something, or anything as an HD, uh, HDMI cable, you want to plug it in, you can still do that too. So that's another option. Of course, if you have uh, Wi-Fi in your vehicle, like I do and most people with these newer vehicles do, you can uh, basically hook your phone up to it or anything, watch YouTube videos, whatever, instead of staring down at your phone the whole time. Right. So moving on, I think I covered pretty much it's simple i covered pretty much the installation where i got it from but i'm going to go over here because i had it set up on my tablet so this is not the exact tv i got my tvs from ebay i get all my stuff from ebay majority of it right this is the closest i could find and this tv actually has a uh android capabilities or whatnot but Again, I bought these TVs about three, four years ago, but 
if you look on uh, eBay, you'll find that there's all kinds. So I couldn't tell you what kind is good for you or whatnot, but they all wire up the same way pretty much. Anybody that knows how to wire, basic wiring, you have a hot ground and then your RCA cables. Pretty simple. It's just a matter of finding where you're going to run your wires. Just that simple. See, I see TVs like that. Of course, that look like it comes from China. So don't let me discourage you about buying stuff from China because I have. It just takes a little longer. You get better, a lot of good stuff, cheap price, but it just takes a little longer than ordering it from uh, somewhere in the United States. And the reason it's cheaper because you don't have to pay all those uh, taxes that they put on stuff once it makes it to the U.S. So as you can see, there's an extensive list of TVs that you could choose from. You even have, I was looking at this one myself personally. I might want it to change out because those TVs, yes, they have a port where you can plug in a uh, headset with the cord. But I kind of like the fact that these have the cordless. So I was thinking about changing the ones I have out. And I've used PAL TVs before. I've uh, done installation for years. Almost every vehicle I've had since the late 90s, I guess. I've had TVs in them. So, Pow is one of the brands that I've used before, and it shows a really good picture. So, that brand I know. This Xtron, I can vouch for these. I mean, you saw them in the beginning of the video. I'll go back around and turn it on again so you can see. And I'm not a professional videographer. So everything you see me doing is low budget, but that's, that's how I do. I'm good at other stuff. All right, so get that noise going. So as you see, I cut the ignition. Engine's not running, but it's on. Both TVs have power. Hit the button in the middle. Hit the button in the middle. All right, see, well, it had the source up there and now it's loading. No signal yet. Xtron. Xtron. Now it's reading a DVD that's already preloaded. And there you go. And if you could tell, this is a side view. I guess you come around. So even if you're sitting in here, this is on the camera and it's showing a great picture. And it can be adjusted, of course, the color and all that other stuff. Uh, you can actually move these up and down, too, if it's not sitting right with your eyes. But from every direction, you still see a good picture. No matter how tall you are, how short you are, if you're sitting in the middle or you're sitting directly in front of it, you'll still be able to see it pretty good with no problems. All right. I think I pretty much covered everything, but if you have any more questions, I'll try to answer them as best as possible. But I uh, appreciate you watching the video. Again, if you have any questions, just hit me in the links and I'll answer them as best as I can. All right, peace.